if you don't want to be rebuilding your ZFS array and, you know, managing and patching and doing all that stuff to your machine constantly, this is a great solution. And that is from the Synology company. The price on this, again, keeps changing. This is out of stock yet again. And so this is the one I have. Now I have actually lots of these deployed. And what's slick about this device is this is, consider this your own private Google. <laughs> you can do so much with these devices. Beautiful packaging here. I just want to show you what they look like in the package here. So again, you're paying for not only the quality of the hardware, which has been really good. That's the device right there. It's got some lights, indicator lights here. It will make noise if there's ever a problem. So it will just run. This is something that you could put downstairs in your house and it just runs. Now this is the 220 Play version or the 220J. You'll see them called that in different years and models. But you can see it has that little button down there. That's the power on off. Now the front on this one is not removable. I'm gonna grab a very small screwdriver. <laughs> I'm gonna open this thing for you and I'll show you how you set it up. So this one doesn't have removable drives in that sense. So you do have to shut it down. You can use this as a home server. So this is the, the Synology 220J opened up for you. So you can see that's the fan. So it's got active cooling for your hard drives, which is really important. Again, your backup plus no active cooling for that, that eight terabytes. If you put two eight terabyte drives in this thing, they're gonna mirror each other. This has also Synology Hybrid RAID. And what's cool about that is let's say you've got a four terabyte and a two terabyte drive. That's all you got. You got some spare drives thrown in there. You put them in here. It's gonna be a two terabyte RAID one, which means that the drives back each other up, which is really sweet. But if you get another four terabyte, you can swap out that other drive, the smaller of the two, and now you double your storage. That's a Synology uh, feature. There's a technical you know, different platform behind it, but versus a regular RAID where you have to rebuild everything and you can't resize easily, that's the Synology hybrid RAID. So you would put your drives in here. Again, super, super easy. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to tinker with hardware often, you don't think you're gonna be swapping stuff out constantly, the Synology, NAS devices are just awesome. Pass this, we close it. I'm gonna put it back down and I'm gonna put those two screws back in. Now it does have a gigabit LAN port, so you're gonna get the full 110, 115 megabytes. I only run gigabit here. I know a lot of the guys use that here. So we've got AC adapter, network cable, screws and mounts for your drives if you need them, and the other side of the power cable. So you get everything you need except the drives. So if this is 219 for this one, you could add, you know, two four terabyte drives and you'd have four terabytes of redundant storage. Now RAID is not a backup, but your RAID is definitely for data protection. So if your backup is on a RAID, that's a good sign. And what's cool about this is you can install Plex Media Server. Now the Play doesn't have a lot of extra <laughs> performance. so. I would encode your videos to the, the quality that you want. If you're gonna do Plex or anything like that, um, the 220 Plus is a lot better. You can install a Pi Hole, which sounds kind of weird, but uh, it's a DNS thing. So when you're using your phone or other devices on your network, it can actually do ad blocking DNS server in there. And so you can do that with your routers and other cool stuff. Now I have another uh, painting company that I help with their IT and they've been using this for an offline solution for years now. They don't have very good internet. Again, back where we're going, we're talking to, like, I think they're at five megabit now, which is, is huge for them, but really, really poor for cloud. And we use the Synology Hyper Backup, a wireless link up to their house, which is like a quarter mile away, and the backup vault on another Synology in a pair so that they can back up all of their customers and they have not lost a file in years and it's all because they're safely saved on these things. So it's really cool. So as a backup solution, if you want something that's better than an external hard drive, gives you more data protection than an external hard drive, and is a little bit nerdier, then you can do that. Now, another cool thing is this does have USB ports on the back. The DS220 has USB on the front. If you're like a photographer, um, or maybe you used that device that we showed earlier, the PNY, you plug that into the front or rear of this one, and depending on how you have it set up, you can have it automatically back up that file to this station. So if you're really paranoid, these things are just amazingly powerful, very easy to use, simple to install, 
consumer level, but really great in a small business environment. Now this is a two drive version. They sell a four drive version. That's what I started with, with Synology. I had a, a DS414. They make a six disc, eight disc. They make ones that, that chain discs in other cabinets. So Synology is definitely an interesting company. I don't normally use their routers, but I would love to get more experience with those products. Um, but the DS220J in this case is the most affordable version of that that gets your data backed up safely. Now you can do encryption as well on these. So it does have the ability to encrypt. If you're gonna do encryption because you're worried about that, make sure you do it with the DS220 Plus. That's got a faster chip and it's gonna encrypt better.